Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Bob Rose. With 2015 drawing to a close, today's weather spotlight is taking a look back at some of the weather highlights of this past year and a look ahead to what we can expect in 2016. Now to me, the biggest weather story of 2015 were the incredible rains and flooding that developed during May and June as the result of the development of a very strong El Nino in the Pacific. Now these rains were incredibly heavy. They produced flooding across much of the area, but they did help produce significant rises on our area lakes and aquifers. But as quickly as the rains came in, the rain kind of turned off in July and we saw a very dry weather pattern from July all the way into early October. But the rains then returned in late October with more big flooding around parts of central Texas and additional rains falling in November as well. This past summer was somewhat tolerable around our area. Hottest temperature was 105 degrees. Austin did record 22 days with temperatures at or above 100 degrees. Earlier this year, the coldest temperature we recorded was 23 degrees back in January. Now looking ahead to 2016, the strong El Nino that developed this year is likely to continue all the way into the spring of 2016. Most forecasts indicate that our region will see a cooler than normal and wetter than normal pattern from January right on through May. Now look, looking at next summer, conditions are somewhat un uncertain at this point. But beyond that, we're seeing some indications that a La Nina may develop in the Pacific next fall, and that may likely bring our region a drier than normal pattern. With your Spotlight on Weather, I'm Bob Rose. Thanks for watching and happy holidays.